Still got a guy looking for his very first victory on the season. Ideally, he'd have one by now, but some of it's been his own problems, and some of it can be attributed to the lack of run support. But however you look at it, you know he'd love to get that first W under his belt. All right, Steve, EK will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees as Joe Girardi's starting nine assembles this way. Standing in, the leadoff man, Jacoby Ellsbury. So we are ready for baseball. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Here's a ground ball to first. And this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One out, nobody on. And a fastball that's lifted the other way out to left. No problem over there for Goldschmidt, and there are two gone now. Obviously, it'll be very important to keep these top two guys off base going forward. They're the ones that set the table and make this team go. So that's a good job here to set him down to start the ball game. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through at one strike. The Red Sox in their red alternate jerseys tonight. Not a bad look once in a while. And Trout will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. Red Sox coming to bat. You're dialed in to the show. Well, here comes Mike Trout now as he'll be the one to get us started in the home half of the first. Oh, he looks like he's swinging a garden hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. And that's something that you won't see him doing a ton of. And that's go chasing after a first pitch that's not a strike. He usually has much better plate discipline. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. To right field. Moving over is Beltron, and he's got it for the first out. Paul Goldschmidt will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. First pitch coming. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Miguel Cabrera 
will take his first cuts now. Currently second in the American League in home runs. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. For Goldschmidt, it's his fourth double here in this early part of the year. Out of play, off to the right. It's one and one. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first will take care of Cabrera for the second out. Chris Davis will get his first opportunity here. Currently leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Goodness, 0-2 oh now. Now 0-2, oh you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now another 0-2. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one in the side. The first baseman, Mark Teixeira, will dig in now. And as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed by Teixeira as he's a strikeout victim here, one away. Brian McCann will take his first swings here. And as you can see, not a lot going right for him offensively here in this first month of the year. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's found a pretty nice rhythm out here early on. And that is swung on and missed by McCann as he sat down on strikes for out number two. Alfonso Soriano. We'll get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. And that's cut on and missed by the free swinging Soriano, who's behind 0-2 now. And there's number eight. One away. And Soriano able to hold back on that one. A ball and two strikes. Mm, 94 on the outer edge. Can't help but take that. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side. In Yasiel Puig will dig in now. Currently ninth in the AL in hitting entering play. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward Gardner in left field. And very quickly one gone. Well, any time you can retire this guy, that's good. Anytime you can do it leading off an inning, that's great. And anytime you can do it on one pitch, that's a full trifecta right there. And this one's tap fouled at home plate. Here we go. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And he shows him the breaking ball for the second time in the at-bat and gets it to one and two. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. Dustin Pedroia will get his first shot at it here. He's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. And Beltran will pull this one in, and that will retire the side. Alex Rodriguez stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. 
And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And he will keep it going on the mound. He struck out the side last time through. Now the streak hits four in a row, one away. Here's Derek Jeter now with one away, a man who just passed Paul Molitor for ninth place on the all-time hit list. And he's got his sights set on Carl Yastrzemski in eighth with 3,419. And if he can catch him, the next two aren't far away either. Honus Wagner in seventh at 34-20 and Cap Anson at six at 34-35. Ready with another 0-2. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there aren't two away. Kelly Johnson will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Good swing by Johnson, but he still comes up empty, nothing in two. And now with the 0-2 count, He's got probably five. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that. A.J. Pierzynski will stand in now. Currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. And a fastball that's taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. And this is likely extra bases for Pierzynski. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Jonathan Herrera will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. Gets this one down. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Mike Trout will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. First pitch on the way. In there, 0-1. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? Shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Jeter on to first, and they get the double play. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Fouled back. Oh, a shot here over the head of Rodriguez at third. A fair ball. He'll take the turn and head for second. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Miguel Cabrera will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And this is fouled straight back. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. Swing by Cabrera and a ball hit on the ground is short. Throw on to Teixeira to take care of him and that ends the inning. Jacoby Ellsbury will stand in to begin their half of the fourth Leading with his the guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Yeah, still looking for their first base runner too. Nine up, nine down. Trout is there and he has it for the first down. Brett Gardner will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch fastball swung out and missed 0-1. You can tell here, in his mind, he's thinking, quick in it. He's not even trying to set guys up. He's coming right after him. 
And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Carlos Beltran will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here's Darvish on 0 and 2. Now a swing and a ground ball there to get it is right. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman. Chris Davis will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First baseman, Chris Davis. Now a fastball that's popped up now towards short right field. Therefore, it is Johnson, and he's got it for the first out. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop-up to start the inning. Now, you'll take that every time. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. Ellsbury is in his tracks now, and there's the second out of the inning. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. And with two outs here and nobody on, if he gets a fastball like that one, he won't be afraid about airing one out here. This is a swing for the fences type situation. Picked up by A-Rod. Throw on to Teixeira is going to be in time and with it. Mark Teixeira will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First baseman, Mark and this is fouled back and out of play. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Brian McCann. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Boy, he has been a first-strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control 0-2. Stays alive here as this is foul off to the right. The next 0 2. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in is the dangerous Alfonso Soriano. Here's a swing and a foul ball. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0 2 now. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will... Leading off for the Red Sox, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Oh, a hard hit ball that'll be caught over there at first. And on one pitch, the leadoff man is retired here in the fifth. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in steps their catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. And I mean way up there on the left side of the infield. And there to take it is A-Rod for out number two. Jonathan Herrera will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Jonathan Herrera. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He does. Seven in a row he set down now with this. And this inning begins with a pitch chop foul at home plate. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a bouncing ball hit to Pedroia at second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. One gone, and Derek Jeter will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. 
For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Kelly Johnson is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Another example there of a guy chasing after that first pitch and falling behind. Yeah, and Matt, we've seen it time and time again. It is something that these guys just have to... And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through. Mike Trout will dig in. He's flown out and hit into a double play in two trips. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And this one is a home run. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. Home run number five on the year. And that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Oh, a shot here over the head of Rodriguez at third. A fair ball. Around first on his way to second now. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Miguel Cabrera will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Two runs, six hits. And no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And this is going to be a foul ball. second Goldschmidt now the pitch and this ball will be chopped foul and this is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away Chris Davis will stand in now he struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. And this bounces on McCann, but a good block there as he's able to keep it close. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Yasiel Puig will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Especially starting off an at-bat. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And Ellsbury will make the catch, and with that, the side is retired. Jacoby Ellsbury will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Brett Gardner will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And will hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Swing and a miss one and one. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning and we're still here in the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. A good action on the two-seamer there and it's one and two. And now pitch on the way. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning. And he's seven outs away now. 
Carlos Beltran will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a match. David Wright will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. This is hit sharply to the left side. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Foul back. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, he finds a way to knock this down. And he throws it away. A.J. Pierzynski will dig in. One for two to this point in the ball game. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And now Beltron's throw comes into the infield, and they'll be forced to hold the runner at third. Jonathan Herrera will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now a sacrifice attempt here. Bare hand pickup by A-Rod. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Mike Trout will have a shot to really put this one out of reach now with the bases loaded. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Yeah, he needed that one. Something to give him a little bit of confidence. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And the run will cross on the sack fly and make it a 4-0 game. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in, and I've got to think these add-on runs here will really make it difficult to come back from. And that's how they've done it all game long. They haven't really had a big inning yet, just a lot of ones and twos, but those will add up. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Jim Miller will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Miguel Cabrera will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Chris Davis will stand in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. So this won't get by the shortstop. Mark Teixeira will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and get that guy something else to think about out there. And this is grounded foul past Rob Thompson in that third base coaching box. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Brian McCann will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And a high 
high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control, 1 and 2. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3, 4, 5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Alfonso Soriano will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this, got him! So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Yasiel Puig will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. and a miss 0-1. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. 0-1 pitch is bounced on the ground to second for Johnson. On to first by Johnson, and it's in time, one away. David Wright will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Dustin Pedroia will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And he'll reach to knock this ball down. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. A.J. Pierzynski will step in. A base hit in his last time. A.J. Pierzynski. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5-0 game. Jonathan Herrera will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. A little late on the slider here as he hits it the other way to third. Tag there by McCann. They got him at the play. Mike Trout will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Line fouled off to the right over the Red Sox dugout. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Over to get it now is Beltron, and that will retire the side. Red Sox strike for a... Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Put yourself in the shoes of that man right there. What's going through his mind right now? I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier, but come on, we know it's hard racing. 
You just got to focus on the glove and trust what your catch is calling because he's done a heck of a job also. Derek Jeter will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up. Really got under this one. Out near the bag at second. Pedroia is there, and there are two men gone now. One out to go. Can you believe this? Man, I wonder what's going through his head right now. Kelly Johnson will stand in here as the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. In there to strike one. I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up for wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Swings and misses. A good pitch there, and the Yankees are down to their final strike now. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Well, that is absolutely dominant. I mean, what else can you say? 27 up, 27 down, and you know what? This is the first time I've ever witnessed a perfect game. So it's one of the hardest things. You know, these come along in baseball maybe once a decade, so this is as good as it gets, folks. I want the time. All my people right there in the back of the spot, I need the time. If you know me, you don't know me to stop, I need the time. All my people. Boston Red Sox, five runs on 14 hits, no errors, left hit. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing. All that I want in this life is the chance to do my thing.